an extremely important part of your communication, your written communication, is documenting your work. Uh, as part of your traineeship, if you're working on a client's job, you're the person on the scene. So uh, a phrase we commonly use is, if it's not documented, it's not done. If you, if you haven't documented what you did, how you did it, etc., you may as well not have done it. Keep in mind that if you're at a client and your, your senior, your manager, your partner isn't, obviously, whatever task you've been assigned to do, the only way anybody else is going to know what you've done, how you've done it, whether it's correct or not, is if you fully document what you did, why, how, etc. Otherwise, it may as well not have been done. Absolutely not going to work for you to go to the client, spend eight hours there, come back, and the partner or the manager says to you, uh, you know, how did the work go today or what did you do today? No, I did my job and it's all fine. It's not going to work, right? We don't know whether you've done what you needed to do, whether it's right or not, how it works. If it's not documented properly, it is not done. Many students that uh, I lecture, especially because my main, my main subject that I lecture is auditing, students absolutely struggle with discussion questions. They struggle to to, to to discuss why something is the way it is, how it works, what it is, the communication, the theory, the application, the conclusion, etc. So if you are one of those who struggle with discussion questions, welcome to hell. This is going to be a problem for you. When you are documenting your work, uh, you need to constantly keep in mind, and perhaps you need to put on a post-it note somewhere, can someone else follow your train of thought? If you hand your file over to someone else, can they identify what you've done without them needing to call you in and go, what does this mean? Have you done this? Why did you do this? How did you do this? What's the outcome here? So the stuff that you need to, to document is pretty much everything that someone else can take a look, identify from start to end your train of thought, what you did, why you did it, how you did it, and what your findings are especially if you're working in an environment where the work or the process can be thought to be subjective, then I really need to be able to follow your train of thought to identify whether or not you're doing the right thing um, that's appropriate for that particular situation. If it is absolutely formulaic, i.e. every time you go on to a job, you do A, B, C, D, E, then that's fine because that has been pre-documented, if you will. You start the job, you do A, B, C, D, E, that's fine. No subjectivity, then you just document what you've done. But if you go in and there's subjectivity around this, and in auditing, for example, this is a prime example of saying two people, two auditors can go into the same job and potentially come up with, with, with different opinions or different ways of doing things based on their thought processes. And what makes their work right or wrong is following the train of thought and identifying whether or not their thought processes were appropriate and they followed the appropriate procedures. So what is it that you are trying to achieve? What is your objective? Before you start your work, whatever you're documenting, what is it that you're trying to achieve? And why do you feel that it's important to do this? So what is your objective with this task that you're going to do? And why do you need to do it? Um, what do you plan to do about it? If that's your objective, then what's your plan? Um, how are you actually going to go about doing this? As you did the execution, as you implemented this plan, and as you were going through it, what did you find? What were your findings as you went along? Uh, what went wrong? Uh, what else did you find? You, you may have cal you know, recalculated five items and two of them were right and three of them were wrong. You need to document that. What went right? What went wrong? What did you do about the stuff that went wrong? When you found something that didn't work according to plan, what did you do about that? Did you go and ask the client? Did you go and talk to them? Did you go and ask someone about it? Or did you just go, oh, that was wrong and move on? And what do your findings mean? What is your conclusion on the basis of what you've done? This means that anybody who takes your work for the day is able to look at and start off with, this is what the person was trying to achieve for the day. So now when I look at what they did during the day, I can identify what they were trying to get to. Like what were, this is what their goal was. This is what they planned to do about it. This is what they identified. This is the way that they were going to go about achieving that goal. So my starting point as, an, as a manager could be, or would be saying, um, the plan that they had for their work, would that get them to that particular objective? Is that appropriate for them? You know, if, if will that plan take them to that particular objective and answer that particular question? As they went through the work, as they went through the items one by one, 
Um, I can see that when they did item number one, they found this, this worked, this didn't work, this worked, this didn't work. And I can get a picture of my, for myself of exactly what they did and how it worked. When things went wrong, I can identify that they, you know, <coughs> that the trainee went back and said, this didn't work out according to plan. And so I went back and asked the client and this is what they said. Uh, they've documented what they've done about everything and then they've documented overall the objective either has been met, hasn't been met, I need to do more stuff, I'm not sure whether I need to do more stuff. This is the kind of documentation we're talking about. This does take time, this does take skill and in a lot of cases the documentation needs to be broken down and in a lot of cases you're going to have to identify the objective and your plan and hand it over to someone else to make sure that your goal and your plan to reach that goal actually do match up. You know, you might have goal A and you you feel I need to do A, B, C and someone else look at it and go, no, 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 in order to reach that goal, you actually need to do this. So documenting your work, it is tricky, but the reality, if it hasn't been documented, it hasn't been done. So your communication skills, this is something that you will build, but be aware that when you go onto the job, uh, and when you document your work, it is not as simple as saying, yes, I did my work today and everything was fine. You need to be able to document it so that someone else can follow your train of thought, understand why you were doing it, what you were doing, how you were doing, what went right, what went wrong, and how do you feel about everything that you did without ever needing to call you into the office and go, can you explain what actually happened here? It is tricky. It is tough. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely crucial. And the more that you can do this and the faster that you're able to do this, the more you can add value to both your traineeship as well as the firm.